presentation niyo, may PowerPoint ba kayo? So, good morning for the group one, um, object-oriented method and attributes. It will be Marci Balandino, si Miss Bato, Miss Camarillo, and then si Tiglen Doynosa, and then si Miss Regor. So, the floor is yours. So, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, class. Um, we are going to present the OOP or the Object Oriented Programming Methods and Attributes. And let's start with the introduction. Kahit tapos na ni mga kanina na nabasa, kasi naisali na namin sa report. Eh, report, hindi report, ah. Babasahin na rin namin or i-report na rin namin. Chelsea. Wait lang. Object-oriented programming sa programming para di gum a way to classify <coughs> programming language based on their features. Languages can be classified into multiple paradigms based on the concept of objects which can contain data, data and code. Data in the form of fields, often known as attributes or properties, and a code in the form of procedures, often known as methods. When talking about OOP, you must remember the following. OO, Object Orientation, and PIIE, polymor uh, Polymorphism, Inheritance, insta insta Instantiation, Encapsulation. Object-oriented programming is a computer programming model that organizes software design around data or objects rather than function and logic. An object can be defined as a data field that has unique attributes and behavior. OOP, OOP focuses on the objects that develops one to manipulate rather than the logic required in the manipulative and manipulate them. <coughs> Sorry, ma'am. This approach of programming is well suited for programs that are large, complex, and actively updated or maintained. This includes programs for manufacturing and design as well as mobile applications. For example, OOP can be used for manufacturing system simulation software. In short, object-oriented programming is about creating objects that contain both data and function. What is the structure of object-oriented programming? The structure or building blocks of OOP is in include the following. Classes are user-defined data types that act as a blueprint for individual objects, attributes, and methods. Objects are instance of a class created which specially defined data. Objects can be correspond to real world object or an abstract entity. When class is defined initially, the description in the is the only object that is defined. Methods are functions that are defined inside a class that describe the behavior of an object. Each method contained in class definition starts with a reference to an instance object. Additionally, the subroutes contained in an object are called instant methods. Programmers are use programmers use methods for reusability or keeping functionality encapsulated inside one object at a time. Attributes are defined in the class template and represents the state of an object. Objects will be data stored in the attributes field. Class attributes belong to the class itself. Class attributes. A class attribute is a variable that is defined within a class. 
other than a slightly different definition. It's the same as any other variable. They are called attributes instead of variables because we're trying to model our application after entities in the real world. As an example, let's consider a database of users. Every user has attributes like name, an age, an address, a profile picture, an email, a password, etc. Inside our class, normal variable will hold this data. Attributes are simply variables inside a class. When defining an attribute, we must use the var keyword in front of the variable name. Var space dollar sign variable name. A class method is a function that's, that is defined within a class and is gain, again, the same as any other function. As an example, let's consider a database database of users. Every user has has functionality available to them like change password, upload profile picture, add to cart, log out, and etc. Methods are simply function are simply functions inside a class. When defining a method we still use the function keyword in front of the method name. Function method name, open and cross parentheses, and create. Next up, yeah. Okay. You can see that the class is called car and it has two attributes, the max speed and the fuel, five methods, Three procedures, set speed, refuel, drive. Two functions, the get speed, get speed and the get fuel. So yeah, can I? So, how to create a class? Naulit na kanina nung sa unang pangalawang presentor natin yung pag-create ng class. So, ulitin ko na lang ulit. A class is created almost like a function except that there are no parameters in its definition because attributes and methods inside a class are accessed differently. We write the keyword class followed by the name of the class and open the close curly braces to define the scope of the class as you can see this example. In this example, we have a single attribute called the dollar name. Ito ang ating attributes or ating property or just call it our variables. Notice that the var keyword in front of the name ito po. Other than the var keyword, the attribute is exactly the same as any other variable. So, mag-represent tayo ng goods. So, sa code na to, hindi ba, malasin ba, guys? Yes, malasin. So, sa code po dito, in this code, the object is already instantiated. Meron na po tayong object dito, which is the person one. Hindi ko po siya masyadong i-discuss kasi may ibang group po na mag-discuss. So, nilagay ko na lang po para sa example natin sa code. It receives all the attributes and methods that the class has. So we have to access these attributes and methods with the arrow operator. Di ko rin alam lang kung arrow operator ba ang pangalan nito. Yung may dash siya ka, greater than. Basta sabihin na lang natin na arrow operator. So dito, meron tayong attributes na dollar name na merong value na unknown. Then sa ating methods or sa ating functions, meron po tayong tinatawag na walk method meron din siyang values na walking. So, ginamit natin tong object para ma-instantiate at ma-receive natin yung data or the value na nasa attributes at sa methods. 
As you can see sa example dito. So, our object, then the name. Itong name po ay galing sa ating attributes na kailangan alisin natin yung dollar sign. <clears throat> then next is yung ating methods, which is the walk. So, pag trainin natin itong Train natin siya na So meron siyang output na unknown at saka walking Kasi po, inulit ko po, ito po yung output niya pag meron natin yung code Unknown and walking kasi siya yung nakalagay na output or the value na nandun sa ating attributes na kinuha ng ating object. Attributes, the value is unknown and then sa ating methods, ang values na is working. Yun lang naman ang kanyang na kinuha na values. Kaya yun ang lumabas sa ating output. The next sample, meron tayo. Ito yun yung pag Declare ng method. So, declaring method, saan na yung explanation doon? Meron pa tayong ditong nilagay na isang method which is the hello. Then, meron po tayong properties. Siya nga pala, dito po sa properties, may ibang explanation po kasi ang dito. How to add properties? How to add properties to a class? We call properties to the variables instead of class. Properties can accept values like string, integers, and booleans, like any other variable. Let's add some properties in a class. Pero in PHP, properties are the same as attributes. Simple variables without functionality. These should be called attributes, not properties. The difference is subtle. Attributes are referring to additional information of an object. Properties describes the characteristics, my God, characteristics of an object. When each property of an object gets value, it is the attributes. So, for instance, a car. If we talk about properties on that car, we can talk about the color, or we can talk about the type of the car, the production year. And on the attributes, the value of the color, the type of the car, and the production year has already given. Example, the color is red. The type of the car is BMW. And the production date is 2021. So, sample natin dito, gagata ng properties. Meron po tayong properties na tatlo, which is the dollar comp or the dollar company, then the dollar color, then the dollar has sunroof. We put the public keyword in front of a class property. The naming convention is to start the property name with a lowercase letter. If the name contains more than one word, all of the words except for the first word start with an uppercase letter. For example, the dollar color or the dollar has sunroof. Nakikita natin siya sa dollar has sunroof, yung second word at third word, uppercase letter yung first letter nila. We can also create a property with a default value. See the property dollar from in the above example. So nakikita natin dito sa isang property natin, isang variables natin, wala po siyang value. Now, how to add methods to a class? The class most often contains functions. A function inside the class is called a method. Here we add the method hello to the class with the prefix public. As you can see, sa example natin, Ito yung kanina, ito yung mga ano tawag dito? Variables or yung mga properties natin. Ngayon, ito naman ang ating methods. Hello. Naglalagay po tayo ng function. We put the public keyword in front of a method. The naming convention is to start the function with the lowercase letter. If the name contains more than one word, all of the words except for the first word start with an uppercase letter. For example, the hello user or the fly pan am. We can approach the methods similar to the way that we approach the properties. But first, we need to create 
at least one object from the class. So, magbibigay tayo ng example sa method dito na. So, nag-declare tayo ng class na pangalan icar. Then, meron tayong properties, which is the, comp, the color and the Hassan roof. Yung dollar pump natin, wala siyang given value. Then, yung the dollar color natin, may siyang given value, which is blue. Then, yung third variable natin, or properties natin, meron din siyang value, which is true. Now, nagbigay din tayo ng method, which is the hello. And meron siyang value na big. Try natin i-run to. Kung pwede. And wala po siyang output kasi hindi po siya na-instantiate. Ngayon, kailangan natin gumawa ng object. Dito sa object, parang mali ata mama. <laughs> Wait lang, huwag ka na mag-instantiate ng object. Hindi, hindi na part ng site. Hindi na ma'am? Hindi na, huwag ka mag-instantiate. Doon lang kasi we're dealing only with the methods and the attributes and then also with the properties. So very good, okay yung explanation mo. Pero yung sinasabi mo kanina mga uh, first every first letter every first uh, letter of each word dun po apat yung sinabi ko kanina yung naming conventions natin which is the camel case man and then um dito sa class person natin di ba we you created a class name person and then you created a variable with a dollar name and then unknown so anong tawag dito we call this attributes man attributes so, tandaan nyo that in every attributes, it comprises or we use the word, gumagamit kit tayo dito ng noun. Name of person, object, places, or things. Yun yung attributes. Sa function, eto, we had this function, introduction, and then username. Sa function naman, always remember that ang function natin, um, action word naman dito. Verb. Lahat ng mga actions. Yan yung tatandaan nyo. So, dito, um, kinol niya or ginamit niya yung um, parameter para ma-instantiate niya kasi yan. So, yung function, nandun, dito yung mga action na gagamitin para magkaroon ng action yung ginamit niyang attributes. Yan. So, tatandaan nyo, attributes are nouns and then functions are verb or action words. So, nandiyan yung mga galaw-galaw, mga galaw-galaw na ganyan. So, remember also that in declaring or in creating properties, we always use the camel case naming convention. So, every first uh, letter of um, the first word is lowercase. And then, yung succeeding letter na niya, doon naman na pumapasok yung ating capital. So, so far, so good. I like your presentation. Especially, you showed me some of the codes. Ganun yung gusto ko, yung nagsishare ng mga codes. At least, makikita ng mga classmate mo. And then, prepare na rin lang para sa ating mag instantiate object and class. Kaya, I stop you there. Kasi, hindi mo na-report yun. Doon ka lang sa attribute methods. And uh, I really like kasi you also add the property. Kaya pala nagtatanong kayo sa akin kung ano ba yung attributes and property. Kaya sabi ko, there's still uh, may pagkakahawid din sila. Depende lang sa pagdagamitan. So, so far so good. Okay, yung presentation. Thank you and congratulations for this presentation. So, class, do you have any questions sa group ni Margie? Meron ba kayong hindi naintindihan sa presentation niya? Jeremy, one, one. Ano yung question ni Marty? Best friend. <laughs> Ganon. And um, the rest of the group. So, naintindihan kung paano ginagamit ang method. Yung method natin, there's always still a function. Laging may word na function. Ayan, function and then mag-create ka ng... Mas maganda kung every time you created a method, yung alam mo na that method has a connection to your attributes and to your properties. Kailangan meron silang connection. Kagaya sa kanya, dinamit niya yung sa car, pero hello. Diba? Dapat hindi ganun. Dapat, yung function mo, may connection dun sa car na 
dun sa class mo na Carol, dun sa attributes na ginamit mo, dapat yung function mo, there's always a connection. Parang masasabi mo na um, nagde-depende sila sa isa't isa. At nag-flow ka dun sa function, di ba? Kita niyo yun? Function yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Which is wrong. Kailangan, every time you create a function, may, may meron silang connection. So, wala nang question, class? Pag wala nang question, um, can you open your account for the documentation? Yan, pa-open na ng account. Open account. Um, Open cam na. Si Kai Nuret mo go for time kayo. Ang uh, ang quiz ay ang ano activity ay propose ko na lang later. Rena yung ano naman yung quiz naman ay si yung activity naman is naka-base din doon sa report ko kanina. So meron din part yan. So open na. Para hindi kita i-absent kasi lahat ng may ni-screenshot ko, nire-record ko yung mga pangalan ng mga mga pin. Jennifer. Uy. Oh, open ka mo na. Ano all? Galing, ang galing ng record girl group 1 na. And then I like the voice of yung last na nag-record na girl. Si Camarillo ba yun? Ang ganda ng boses niya. I like it. Naglamis. Naglamis sila pa yung na doon doon. Ang tsakaan. Okay din, pero kahit ano, maganda yung boses niya. Okay, smile! Frederick, ah, Arlene, Lenny, Sonia. Smile, smile again. Nahan kayo? Nahan kayo? Ang payo naman. Ang payo naman. Ang payo naman. Nahan kayo nga rin doon. Ika early dismissal kayo. Okay. Thank you for attending class. Keep safe, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, ma'am. See you again next week. Group 2. Group 2, ha? Prepare for your report. Narisina. Okay, you can start your breakfast na kayo. Thank you for attending.